Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Banjo-Kazooie games on the GBA. Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge is a nice attempt to port Banjo-Kazooie on the GBA, but while the game is good, it definitely doesn't get even close to the N64 games. Still, you gotta praise the devs for trying to make the game feel as close as the Nintendo 64 version. The game tries some sort of 3D but because it's essentially still a 2D game because the GBA can't handle real 3D, the graphics look watered down severely and depth perception is poor. You can get used to the poor depth perception but it always gave me that hesitation. I never felt sure of the distance. In moveset, you get the bare minimum, still even if the moveset is limited, it's surprising how familiar the controls feel. Also you can buy new moves later on in the game with musical notes. There are also some minigames that get reskinned across the levels and there are also mambo transformations, which do an incredible job in making the game feel varied. As for the story, Gruntilda is free from the rock on her because Klango makes a big iron body and the witch transfers her ghost into the new iron body. She then goes back in time to undo everything done in the first Banjo-Kazooie game on the N64. Mambo then sends Banjo and Kazooie to stop Gruntilda from splitting them up in the past. This is just the premise, but overall the story has many plot holes and isn't as good as the N64 games. Still, it has patches where it's as good, but overall the story feels more like a filler. It's there to give context rather than intriguing you to play more. The gameplay is simplified, maybe due to the hardware limitations of the GBA, but still, for a GB game, it's incredible how much they crammed into a cartridge. The game is varied, nicely made, and packs a few couple of hours of gameplay, so it's among the longer GBA games out there. Anyway, the game is great, it doesn't even get close to the N64 games, but it sure is a great game to play, and one in which you can clearly see that a lot of effort went into it, and the result is a fun game. Banjo Pilot is a kart racing game with a new gimmick that tries to reinvent kart racing games. Instead of playing on the ground, you control a plane, which can move both left and right, like a kart, but also up and down, and this adds another layer of complexity when avoiding projectiles or throwing power-ups. And at the end of each cup, you get a boss battle like this. And this is some nice content. You haven't seen boss battles in a kart game before. And the boss battles are super fun. Aside of this gimmick, the game is pretty much your typical kart racing game. There are 9 characters in the game, each with different stats, and 16 tracks. Also each cup has a boss battle at the end. The game doesn't have a story, but that's alright because stories in kart racing games were not the most important part anyway, even if they do add to the overall product and makes it more premium. As game modes you get Grand Prix, Quick Race, Time Trial and Jiggy Challenge mode, where you collect 6 Jiggies from the bottles on the tracks and grant the Grand Prixes while trying to finish in first place. Overall the game is great, and while it doesn't reach the fun factor of Mario Kart, due to the content and uniqueness of the gameplay, it's a worthy alternative to Mario Kart, if you want to play a kart racing game that stands out from the rest. And is definitely better than the rest. 